All right, guys, so here is the Chromebook Pixel. Now, the Chromebook Pixel, I've been really waiting, anticipating this device, and you can see it's really sharp looking device. The boxing is real nice, and let's go right into that. So here's the boxing, really simple to the point. You have your uh, charging brick, charging brick with the chrome logo you can see right there and you also has a what you call an extension wire so you can uh, make it even further and the let's get started guide pretty much the power on find network then you're gonna log in with your Gmail and the search button is the search apps and the OK Google commands. Also, so you got getting started and so forth. So this is basically your owner's manual right here, right here on the back. That's your owner's manual. And then you're done. So I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to get right into the pixel. So. So going straight into this. I'm taking that away. And you have the pixel here. So the Chromebook pixel, really looking at it, nice build. I like the way the size of it. Actually, if you want, um, if you're looking at the pixel to be your big Chromebook, I think it might be closer to be in your smaller Chromebook, but it's real good. The metal is cold to the touch. You got feet here at the bottom that keep your um, Chromebook in place. And let's open it up. So the Chromebook, the boot times are going to be really fast. You have to sign into your network which I'm going to do right now. So totally logged into my network and um, really the keyboard, the way it feels, it, it, it feels nice. It feels nice. You have to accept. We're going to accept. I mean, come on. Now you have to put in your Gmail and pretty much you're in if you already had a Chromebook you're gonna really continue where you left off with your uh, other Chromebook so but if you haven't had a Chromebook before it's gonna be a great new experience for you so pretty much signed in I'm gonna go to these the search bar I want you to see all the different apps uh, jumping in and that's what they're doing they're jumping in so this already got the update you see the apps jumping in and the screen resolution really looks really looks up to par really does look up to par um it's basically a 2k screen um it's basically 2560 by 1700 and you know it's a little bit more than your retina so you i you iphone i Mac users, um, you're going to be wondering about the resolution. The resolution is up to par. And you can see right here, there's another update um, looking to happen. So um, you're going to, with the Chromebook, I mean, I just got, I have a two over two year old Chromebook. And guess what? It's got the updates. So um, it's going to work just like this one. The interface is pretty much the same. Um, just to show you guys different wallpapers really good looking screen and if you notice as I change mine with the um, pixel it changes with my chrome box as well so really hot stuff um, really cool device it looks good first impressions it's 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 bad it's badass. Um, you have your light bar right here. 
you tap the light bar. Yeah, you tap the light bar, it gives you the battery life. So I'm around half. Matter of fact, battery life is rated at um, 10, 12 hours. You can see the keyboard lights up. As soon as you start touching the keys, they start to light up. Or I don't, I even, I don't know how do you get it to light up, but it does light up. So really good just to give you another, uh, what's going on else with this uh, Chromebook is you have your headphone microphone slot. You have two USB 3.0 ports and you also have a USB C port. Now USB C is going to be coming the standard. Towards the back here, you have the Chrome logo near the hinge, on the hinge. And on the other side, you have your memory slot and you also have another USB-C port. So you can uh, be charging on one side and um, doing back and forth with files on the other. And on the front here, the hinge, you should be able to open up without having the Chromebook tip over so you can see right there I used my one finger and I was able to open it up so you guys can hear the sound the sound radiate from underneath the, the, the keyboard and you can see the video this is 1080p video looking real good So the screen is at its highest uh, setting. Um, it's crystal clear. The specs on it is through the roof with this device. Um, you're talking an i7 processor and a Chromebook. The Pixel can range from having a core i5 with eight gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of bytes of uh, storage SSD. Or you can go for the ludicrous speed and have an i7 with 16 gigs of RAM and 64 gigabytes of SSD. So um, pretty much you can have the best of the best. They're both the same. Uh, basically the internals are different. So just getting a quicker, a more closer look. You see the Chrome logo right here. The keyboard or your type of what they call chiclet type keyboard. It's not no newest technology keyboard. It's the type of keyboard that you are uh, used to. And it's light. Is it the lightest um, device out there? No, there's MacBooks that are lighter, but this feels substantial. It feels good in, in your hand and closing up. It's thin, it's not the thinnest, but for me, it's substantial. It's good. It feels good. It feels light. Um, I would, wouldn't call it ultra portable, but it's definitely uh, portable. I know you guys are seeing this is I'm um, having problems focusing, but doesn't matter. This is a bad ass device. So definitely look forward to more videos. Um, like and subscribe to see more. And this has been the Chromebook Pixel unboxing. And this is my first impressions of it. So with that, like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one.